And in tonight's session, with a little help from his friends, Ian Adams shows us how to put style into your singing and how to tackle pop and Puccini with the same voice. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening to Janet, my associate, Janet Edwards. The first thing I'd like to do is recap on last week, and that is by pushing out the breath. So many people retain too much oxygen. Perhaps I can ask my three stalwarts, Frida, Joe, and Louise, to help me on this. Let's begin by doing... No, they're all doing it beautifully. <laughs> the next one I'd like to do is the panting exercise, which I also did last week, which is, in fact, just simply... <laughs> now, Joe, what would that be good for? Well, we're hyperventilating to get rid of the carbon dioxide and make maximum oxygen intake. My goodness, that is technical. <laughs> you see, this boy, he's got along there. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to do anything. I don't have to do anything with this one here. It's wonderful. A natural teacher. Can we all just do it? We're going to swiftly move on to the next one. It's a bit like the, like the first part of rowing. You know, the rowers who win the race are the ones who all put out, out their oxygen together and get their oxygen back so that you've got energy to deal with it. Singing is very athletic. A lot of people think, of course, it's very artistic, but it's also very athletic. Can we all try that and show them? Let's begin. Thanks. You can all sit down for a moment. Thank you. Now, we're moving swiftly along to actually focusing the voice. And this is a wonderful sort of word that's used. Or oh, he's not in focus or she's not in focus. Basically, a lot of people, I begin all my lessons with humming. And a lot of people come to me and say, oh, I can't hum, can't hum. And they, they proceed to go, straight into their throat. Now, the basic voice sings into this area here, the voice box opens and works and the vocal cords vibrate and send the picture forward here. Now, we either catch it here, we catch it in all sorts of strange places. <laughs> we catch it down the throat or, 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 or all sorts of tremendous sort of places that it's nothing to do with singing. Now, if we hum and we're high in focus and a bit of a smile in it, it brings the voice straight up into here and there's no pressure on it. Can I ask my three new students to just do that for me? Fine. And let's begin, Janet, with humming. Uh, quite high, about C. Okay, humming, going up. Bonnie to demonstrate the next one for me, which is the one where you hold your support coming back if Janet just plays it. So you just connect inside yourself and hold it back. I know you know this, but it's only so that everyone at home and everyone here can understand. Can we just do it, Bonnie? And humming. You can see at once how there's no air, there's no pressure on her throat. Everything is beautifully in order. Yes? <laughs> and she's wearing this lovely sort of open <laughs> no, throat no. so that we can see it beautifully. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, would you all like to sit just for a moment because I don't want to tire you out. Uh, I would like to do next an R exercise. And a lot of people say to me, why do you begin with R? I can sing E better and I can sing A better and I can sing... Well, so many words, especially in the English language, and also in Italian, have R vowels. And particularly in this country where we have accents as mine from the very north of Scotland to, the, to where everyone has a different placement of an R vowel. And in this part of the woods as well. And so I would 
I always say, if we can get the R, that it's basically simply focused here again with the relief of the jaw. Just all laugh for me for a moment, will you? I haven't said anything funny, but I'm sure you can. <laughs> Just put your hands here and laugh. <laughs> do you see how, do you see how this little jaw here opens, it opens upwards and backwards when you laugh. It does it beautifully for us. And then you'll hear somebody going to sing, singing, ah, straight off their throat, instead of ah, which is in the focus of the face. Now, it's as simple as that, because if we can relieve that, and after all, singing is only a principle of resonance, what we may have added to that is wonderful, but that's what the principle is, and what we're going to do tonight is resonate. So, when I, I'm going to do these R's, you'll see, uh, just do a few, and then I'll ask my friends here to help me, and you can all join in again. Can we just do R and... Now you'll see that here I'm using a connection. Everything in life is a reaction to a contraction. So I'm not doing that just on one sort of tension. I'm doing it relieving the tension through my body. Rather like ah, 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 ah. I'm doing it with a connection inside, which in actual fact uses your voice. Otherwise it would sound something like this. Ha, 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 ha. It would sound frightfully tense, and we hear many, many people doing just that when they go to sing. Can I ask Joe just to do this for me? <laughs> and then join in with Robert. Okay, lovely. And. Ha, 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 You can hear how that range is lifting up. It's going into focus. There's no problem in it, and he's using his body beautifully. Robert, can you just do it together? Sure. And ah. Uh. Let's go to the next one. I'll keep Robert and Bonnie and Jody up this time. And they're going to do fifths for you. And perhaps Frida and, and Louise will join in. And I'll leave Joe just for a moment. OK. Can we just do fifths? Now, that's a perfect cadence of a fifth. So it's a ha, ha, ha. That's all it's going to be. Now, when you actually use your jaw here, you've got to come back where you started from. Do it for me, Louise. Just do that fifth. Ah. Yes, nice. A bit scared for me. <laughs> Never mind, we're doing very well. Let's Bonnie do it for you. Yes, do you see she comes back? It's not terribly high. It's, she, she comes back to where she starts from. That's what we're after. In other words, if you did, ha, ah, it would sound terrible. It's gone into the floor of the church again, instead of staying up in the lovely rafters, yes? Thank you very much for the moment. Right, now I'm going to come to my three students who I've been working with since our last program. Uh, and I'll start with Joe. I, we had a, a couple of days ago, we did a session together on your song that I'd chosen from the first program. And uh, I think we learned quite a lot from that. Did you feel that was beneficial? Oh, yes, we. I got a better relationship with the character. Yeah. And a better understanding of the mechanics. Slipping around the corner to the Rose and Crown, the very best in town, the gloomy Rose and Crown. Say those words to me now. Say those words a bit elegant, a bit grand to me. If you're trying to impress the somebody. The Rose and Crown, the very best in town, the booming Rose and Crown. The blooming rose and crown, <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're not believers at home. Yeah. Okay, now, so when we say, uh, when we do this, uh, I mean, could you supply Janet? So you say, slipping around the corner to the rose and crown. Uh -huh. the, you know, so you get the sort of kind of, kind of thing where you're in, in focus of your voice and you're using your body, of course, you can't leave it to chance. No. You can't just think, I'm going to say it that way and hope it's going to be right. Can we just try it again? Right. 
Slipping around the corner to the rose and crop, the very best in town, the blooming rose and crown. Yeah, and the funny thing is, it's the very best in town, the blooming rose and crown. You know, it's sort of that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So you say, slipping around the corner to the rose and crown, the blooming rose and crown, the bloom. You know, so you the, the best in town is yeah. the third one. So it's got a little, have a little bit more with it. Can uh -huh. we try? And uh, we're off. Slipping around the corner to the rose and crown, the very best in town, the blue and rose and crown. Slipping around the corner for an hour and on, we'll have ourselves a month. And if you care to tickle me fancy, tickle me fancy while we're in the vestibule, a jolly custom you'll agree. That was, a, that was a couple of days ago. Yes. Now, we're going to do it tonight. <laughs> the great thing about this song is you've got to have that relationship working. But just let's try it first. I might stop you after the first line. You know how awful I am. Huh? <laughs> Slipping around the corner to the rose and crown, the very best in town, the blooming rose and it's very nice, Joe, but it's not posh enough yet, because, you know, he's posh. Very posh with this undertone of throwing the odd cockney word in. So you've got to set up the scene. He's a con man, you know, he's always going off with the old ladies and the thing to sort of get round them, you know. And this is his act, but, I mean, basically he's a pretty nasty con man in the quiet. Yeah. But he's great charm, you see, so when you say... Slipping around the corner to the rose and crown, the very best in town, the blooming rose and crown. You, the third one is your lead through. Now let's do it again. And then I'll maybe call in somebody else to help us. Slipping around the corner to the rose and crown, the very best in town, the blooming rose and crown. Slipping around the corner for an off and off, we'll have ourselves a laugh. And if you care to tickle me fancy, tickle me fancy while we're in the vestibule, a jolly custom you'll agree. Then off the road, and in we go. Hello, hello, who's here we know? Yeah, fine. Man. That's, that's absolutely great. Now, I'm going to ask Robert to help us a little bit on this. Robert Meadmore, my first guest. <laughs> <laughs> now, he was recently in My Fair Lady. Now, he was playing the character of Freddie in My Fair Lady, and he's rather a similar character, although Freddie's an innocent, but he basically is a rather effete character. The reason I gave you this song was to take away all those pressures and all those difficulties of relationship in yeah. the song. Mm -hmm. Now, I would like Robert to show him being posh. Can we just deal with that? Mm -hmm. Just for yeah. a minute. You don't mind? No. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> Robert hasn't seen this before, so we're off. Slipping around the corner to the rose and crown, the very best in town, the blooming rose and crown. Slipping around the corner for an off and off, we'll have ourselves a laugh. And if you care to tickle your fancy, tickle me a fancy when we're in the vestibule, a jolly custom you'll agree. You see what I mean? Now, he's just side reading it, but here we are with him telling that story. He's using a relationship of words. Not that you're not doing brilliantly, Joe. We've got rid of all sorts of fed of hang ups. This kind of, you know, this is a kind of smart talk. Mm -hmm. And it's rather like the yuppies in Docklands used today, you know, it's frightfully nice. <coughs> They're frightfully grand and frightfully nice, and then they say, oh, yeah, in the middle of it, you know, for <laughs> what reason, we don't know. I'm sure it's going to get more and more. Thank you. Now, we're moving swiftly along to Robert to sing Big Ballad by the great Alan J. Lerner and Frederick Lowe from Brigadoon, which he's currently starring in. Now, this song, you will find, has the same support only in a longer, more connected way. He will still be using the diaphragm muscle. He will still be using all the support. I know you're convinced in this, but we've got to convince everyone else here.
And now we come to Frida Ries from Stockport. We've also worked, as same as Joe and Louise, we've been working and we've been finding out how difficult it is sometimes to relate words. I've given you a hard song, a song by Andrew Lloyd Webber, and it's a beautiful song, but has this high line. It's really come on, dear. And, and you know what's so interesting is that, you know, you've got this little sibilant that wants to fly in every yeah. now and again where you flick the, the tongue up. Because we worked on that yesterday. Yes. You really started Did to master. Work? Yes, I yes, got of my course, breath didn't wrong. it? I got my breath wrong down here somewhere. I didn't breathe. Yeah, you, for here. you forget. To, to you, you, yes. you forget because you think, oh, I'm singing a song. You get a little bit. So when you say, just, just, just. Just, just do that again, Janet. Will you say, half a moment? Can you feel how I'm going? Half a moment. You see, you see how you can, yes, you can do that? Little... You can do it ten times. You know, you can do that yeah. as many times as you like. I mean, really, you're not stuck there. The diaphragm muscle, so, in fact, in this middle central part of the song, so controls the tone you're going to make. Mm -hmm. Does it? Yes. Well, just talk to me. Yes. If you talk to me tense, half a moment, we are together. I shall love no one yes. else and nothing more. Yeah? Yes. It would sound yes. like, but yes. if we said, half a moment, we are together, I shall love no one else and nothing more. It's it's for real. And so saying, when you sing, just try. Okay, we're off. Mm. And. Half a moment, we are together. Very nice, my dear. Now, you can see it's come a long way. It's coming along. Mm -hmm. and I'm lifting the voice over yes, and getting all these things to happen. Meanwhile, I'll let the viewers and the audience into a secret. She's gone and got herself probably the worst cold I've ever heard. And, uh, well, the, the obvious thing would perhaps be to say, well, no, we'll hide Frida tonight. But we're going to sort of go along the way because many times I get this terrible phone mm -hmm. call in the afternoon from from some of the most famous stars in the world saying, you know, I can't sing tonight, I, I've got this terrible problem. And usually you talk them through it and say to go off and do their exercises and sing above it. That's singing in the mask of the face, yeah, this yeah, cathedral yeah, place. Yeah, sure. And seeing if we can just deal with that. But we'll just see what, how we get on. Come on. Frida, you're a great girl, because here we are, you began and you supported it, and then you thought, is he going to approve? <laughs> I am very going to approve when you can deal with that that way. You know, just, I'm going to get off the set for a minute, you're just going to sing it and enjoy yourself for a minute. Come on, off we go. <laughs> yes? Half a moment, we are together. Use your body, Frida. deal with that now you're doing beautifully <laughs> yes when you say I shall want to no one else and nothing new come on let's do it together come on yeah let's go you okay sing, yeah. no 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 okay we're off yes the moment we are together it is when you just don't worry about it and here it is up in here I'm going to call him Bonnie to help you a bit with this as well 
Yes? Right. Yeah? I've got tonsillitis. Oh, you have? No. I'm sorry, I have. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not trying to do anything, no, no, no. but I this, have. This is the miracle program, please. It. But you it's haven't... awful to sing through it, and you're right. Yes, but I've never known you to be off one night in a well, theatre. No, no. The same as Michael Crawford. You will go on there no matter if the world is falling apart. Yes. Well, Frida is... It makes you feel up. awful, though, because you just... It's, it's that you don't think that anything is going to come out. As you were saying, if you just think you can do it, you're all right. Wow. Well. <laughs> 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 well, I think well, I can do it. The, the, the thing is here, <clears throat> I would like you to help her a little <clears throat> bit on this, because, Bonnie, it's important that she gets her legato a smooth line. Now, that's hard for her to do tonight, <clears throat> and I'm getting wonders that she's getting up there in the voice <clears throat> and getting... <clears throat> and she's a great sounds girl sounds for lucky. trying. But I would like you to help her, because she'll be off listening to this <clears throat> tomorrow and saying, oh, I'll do this really better next time. So will you put the ending of the word to the next word, please, for me, to That's just okay. show the studio and also Frida what it is to have a good legato, a good line in a song, yes? I'll do my best. Don't end this at all. Half a moment we are together I shall want no one else and Yes. Yes. Why don't the two of you just do a little yes. bit together? Support okay. one another. <laughs> okay. but no, no, no halves. None of those pushing. Right. Uh, oh, just for me. Yes. See how it's coming on now. You can get up in there and you can deal with it, Frida. I believe you. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Please, everyone. She's such a girl. Thank you, Bonnie. <laughs> Louise, you, in actual fact, have, of course, been with me and been working as well. And a couple of days ago, we did a Puccini aria. Puccini, after all, is often regarded as the pop composer of opera. That's because he writes the greatest tunes. <laughs> that's, that's very pretty, but you're singing it you now as if you're going to sing a uh, sort of kind of... Uh, when I think about it, it's a sort of bit like that in it. It's yeah. very, it might be a great pop tune. It's a wonderful tune, yeah. but I think it's got to be a bit more direct. Say it to it. Oh mio babino caro, say it. Oh mio babino caro. Yeah, but connect inside your bottom and across the crash. Oh mio babino caro. Oh mio babino caro. I know you're pleading with that. Oh mio babino caro. Oh mio babino caro. Yeah, and don't put your head out. Look, just how little I do. Oh mio babino caro. Oh, mio babino, I sing it the same way. Not with any rock, sort of, kind of okay. I'm going to sing a song here, <laughs> honey. OK, and... Oh, oh mio babino, It's really nice, but you actually sound... Ah, you're like a little ship on the ocean. <laughs> OK, we just do it again. Oh, mio babino, Pretend I'm dad, plead with me. Going 
just go over there. We're going to try this again and just see how we've improved since then. It's not fair. It's an Italian, too. <laughs> to breathe before <laughs> Isla Mar seen Donna was going beautifully, was it not, yeah. ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> it's come a long way, and you know that relationship will get more and more. I'm going to call in Jody here, Jody Wilson, <laughs> to come and give you a little help. Now, I'll let you into secret. <laughs> <laughs> Jody came to me a few years ago, a very small girl, she's still a small girl, <laughs> with her sister to come to me for lessons and uh, since then she's been playing opposite Cliff Richard starring opposite Cliff Richard and time and doing all sorts of wonderful things but we did lots of classical she pushed her voice in I'll let Judy tell you would you just tell what you've been well, doing so do it's so different you know pop and classical it, it really Can you hear is. those Australians together yeah. it's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. and they're home I had and to dry go, I had to go to Ian because I had overdeveloped my chest voice so much that um, when I did the soprano, it w didn't sound like one voice. You could actually hear the difference, you know. My soprano was so soft, my chest voice was overdeveloped. So I went to Ian and he really, <laughs> he's worked on me. And, you know, it's fun to do because you don't realise that you've got this other side to your voice. You really don't. <laughs> I say well, that. <laughs> you're, you're, both, you're both in the pop market now, so maybe Judy would just do a little bit for you. Okay. Thank you. Right. You don't mind, yes? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm after, you know. That's how you sort of yeah, well, yeah, you got scared when we got him. Wonder in Potaro. And we can have that rolled on. Rosa. Why don't you two do it together? The Australians meet one another. Here we are. <laughs> Support. Okay. <laughs> Sister duo, she just <laughs> left. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yes. Now, is that helpful, Louise? Yes. Because you can see that Jodie's not scared to take those words and deal with them. Mm. They're great words. I oh mean, yes. Italians, you know, mm -hmm. fun, really. Yes. Now we're going to come to Jodie doing a semi-pop song. It's from the Wiz, and it's Home, where she's going to use this technical ability that she's got which I think will help you when you come mm -hmm. to your recording and all the things you're going to do you have a lovely quality Louise and it just has to be totally supported mm. all the time and not that head knocked around I don't <laughs> want to feed a knocking head there's no horses when you sing you keep your head beautifully still that's lovely fine thank you <laughs> thank you No. 
that makes the tall grass bend into leaning. Suddenly the raindrops that fall have a meaning, sprinkling the seed makes it all. You can hear what I'm after there. Okay. Yeah. And I wish you great success with the new country album. Oh, thank you, Ian. Lovely, thank you. thanks. Thank you. And now we've seen how Frida and Louise and Joe have progressed. But they're not the only ones that have progressed rapidly like that. I'm going to talk about somebody just over here who was just doing that not so long ago. Okay. Bonnie Langford, my star guest tonight. Hi, dear. Hello, Ian. Uh, the thing is now, before we go on tonight to do what we're going to see, the progress of what's been happening in your life, I would like to play a little surprise. Oh, no. What? Just a little surprise. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's Gypsy. Do you want to do the number? <laughs> Good deal. I can still remember. Oh, this is Gypsy. It's about eight. Oh, no, no. Mm. And if you're real good, I'll make you feel good. I want you to spirit. <laughs> Still remember. <laughs> everyone, everyone always said that I had a squeaky voice, and I could always squeak. But um, it was always that I could put across a number as long as I danced as well, or was bright and bubbly and exuberant, which they still call me. But yeah, with, you know, it's that... nice that everyone now is saying how much lower my voice is, and I think that from coming to you and developing the top part of my voice, it's also helped the bottom part. The point is, you have a formidable technique, as we're going to hope to prove in a moment. And I'd like you to sing for us tonight this enormous tessitura aria. It's very rarely performed. Yeah. It's, it's the ballad <laughs> from The Fair Fair Maid of Birth by Georges Bizet. And I would just love you to do it for us. Thanks. I'll try. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you. 